It's been almost 15 years ago when my favorite band in the whole world, Matchbox 20, is no more. Because of my favorite member is no longer in the band. And that's why they went downhill. Big time. But one of the best parts I love about the old Matchbox 20 that I remember the best is their music videos. And I got a brand new idea for it. Well, anyway, hi ladies and dudes. This is Rebecca Lynn Barkley, aka Boobop197. This is my review for a day. And today I have no review, ladies and dudes. But for today's list, ladies and dudes, once again, I'm going to do a brand new top 5 list that nobody has never done before. And this top 5 list is very darn dear to me. And it's 15 years ago when my favorite band in the whole world, Matchbox 20, had died. No, I'm serious ladies and dudes. They're dead to me. Because my most favorite member of the band is no longer here. And we were stuck with the four boring members. And this is why they went downhill big time. <sighs> Rob Thomas became forgetful for not putting him in there when the day when his first solo record came out. And they made one of the most disaster songs of all time. A song that involves repeating things in history and also bring bad evil signs to our world. If you know which song I'm talking about. So screw the Matchbox 20 that we have right now that completely sucks. Big time. Let's go back to the old Matchbox 20. The band itself that we all know and love. Back from 1996 all the way from 2004. And I got a great idea for a brand new top 5 list that nobody has never done before. So for today's list. I'm going to do my top 5 most favorite Matchbox 20 music videos of all time. And to tell you the truth, this, ladies and dudes, I don't have to rewatch all those videos all over again. I'd rather remember all those music videos from the bottom of my own heart. And I can remember those great music videos right in the top of my head and there's so many great music videos they made but I think I'd rather pick only five great music videos that really did touch me the most you know that has a good plot good special effects great videos that involves Love and darkness and funniness and something that will have a warm feeling to your heart. Yeah, hard for me to say. So, I'm just picking the songs that, well, I only got one song from yourself or someone like you. Three songs from Mad Season by Matchbox 20. And most of all, only one song that came from... What is it? More Than You Think You Are. Yep, this is the band that I truly love. Not the foursome band or the threesome band, whatever it is. Screw those guys! I just want the old one back. These guys right here with the five members and them as a whole. You know what I'm talking about. 
So, without further ado, ladies and dudes, let's head on to my top five best Matchbox 20 music videos of all time. The ones that I truly love. And I will say for my two honorable mentions will be 3AM and Disease. I love 3AM. It's a good music video and also a great tribute for Rob Thomas's mother because of the time of her cancer. And yeah, the music video just took place when those guys are in a phone booth and some areas that came from outside here and there. And the other is disease. Um, Matchbox 20 is trying to bring back disco to the music world. I guess you could say it's a big lib alligator moment in a music video style, of course. Bring back disco for only... for one time, one time only, I guess. I will say about the other music videos, Push is a very enjoyable video, but, uh... Maybe like a bit too carried away type of video, hard for me to say. Um, Back to Good is only a music video that took place in the parade. And I feel bad for a long day. It's one of the most forgotten music videos of all time and nobody had never talked about it. And as for Bright Lights, it only took place in a freaking concert and not in the music video. I wish Rob Thomas should have known better about... If you want to choose a song, just put it in the music video and not in a live concert thing. If you know what I mean. So, let's head on to my top five choices. Coming at number five goes to Mad Season. I will say that Mad Season is really one of the most underrated music videos of all time. And definitely one of the most enjoyable music videos to watch. And you could say it's a... It's a comedy music video. There's a whole lot of funny moments going on. Uh, I will say the most two funniest moments that ever happened in that music video. One, there are some dancing police officers that came out of nowhere and they were fighting those fans. And the other, those fans are going after those signs. Yeah, the sign that says Rockstar. They're not going after the band they're themselves. They're going after those silly old signs. It's just a funny, enjoyable music video. And you guys need to check that one out. And I feel so sorry for this music video. That did do so well on the top 20 countdown list. Back at 2001. During the time when they had it on VH1. So yeah, I decided to put that one on number 5. Coming at number four goes to Real World. I will say out of all the music videos I did enjoy here and there that came from the very first album of Yourself or Someone Like You, I will say that Real World is truly the best music video that they have ever done. And yes, you could say this music video featured so many highlight moments. Like Rob Thomas brought a camel to the bowling alley, uh, Kyle Cook brought over a steak at an ice cream truck. Paul Doucette disguised himself as an old lady. I think one of the best cross-dressing moments I have ever seen in music video history. And Brian Yale doing some type of report thing. Um, like giving them what to do for the reporters and we see Alan Gaynor as a family man, having dinner, well, having breakfast with his family. So yeah, this is a very fun and enjoyable music video to watch, and one of the best highlights music videos we will never forget in musical history, for music videos, of course. So yeah, Real World deserves to be at number four. Coming at number three, goes to If You're Gone. I love this music video to death, and this is one of the best music videos that Rob Thomas have ever done, where he tribute this song to his lovely wife, Marisol. And he really loves that beautiful Spanish lady very much. 
and I really love this music video to death. And yeah, it's another good highlight music video that featured in black and white. They featured some horn players in there. And who will never forget that moment where Rob Thomas is on the edge. And I know everybody was wondering if Rob Thomas is going to kill himself during the time of the music video. But no, he stayed in with his band members and tried to get the song finished. If you know what I mean. So yeah, If You're Gone deserves to be at number three. Coming at number two is everybody's favorite Matchbox 20 music video of all time. And truly one of the most darkest Matchbox 20 music videos I have ever seen in my whole entire life. I will never forget when I first watched it on TRL. They world premiere and I did watch the whole thing. And I was kind of surprised. So coming at number two goes to Bent. I freaking love Bent. It's such an enjoyable song. And it was pretty darn dark. It was the most darkest music video I have ever seen. And it's the part where Rob Thomas got beat up by only three out of his three out of four of his band members. Yeah, those band members had truly beat him up. Like Adam Gare drive a car for no reason, he bumped Rob by accident. Uh, Kyle Cook had stolen Rob's money for some unknown reason. I don't know why. Paul Doucette had pushed him around and tried to tell him to get out of his sight or something like that. And we'll never forget at night time that Kyle Cook had just kicked Rob Thomas in the stomach while he's in the gutter. The only Matchbox 20 member who did not beat him up is Brian Yale. I guess you could say Brian Yale is truly the most loyalist one out of the four. Well, if you ever seen Ben, you'll know what I'm talking about. So yeah, Ben deserves to be at number two. And finally, the number one best Matchbox 20 music video of all time. That is truly the best of the best for best single, best song, and best music video. And out of all the music videos I did see for many years, this one had the best storyline. I mean, this music video made completely sense all the way through for start to finish. So for number one goes to Unwell. I love Unwell. It's a great music video and it has a fantastic plot. I mean, a plot about confusing things and cool special effects and there's a claymation of a dog and the only thing I'll never forget about that music video is seeing Paul Doucette and Adam Gaynor having those cute big noses. I mean, seeing them with big noses is really darn cute and adorable. Um, uh, on well, that is Matchbox 20's most best of the best song, single, and music video that I will never forget in music history. So yeah, Unwell deserves to be the number one best music video of all time that came from one of my most underrated favorite bands of all time. The one I miss the most. So, those are my top five best music videos of all time. That came from one of my most underrated favorite bands of all time. And tell me, ladies and dudes, what is your favorite Matchbox 20 music video of all time that truly came from them? This one. Not that stupid Matchbox 20 we have right now who did that how far we call bull crap. So screw those Matchbox 20 guys. Let's head back to the old classics for goodness sakes. Well, whichever it is, leave a comment there and let me know. And join me next time when I do my next top five list 
that nobody has never done before. And it's going to be my top five best hidden Easter eggs that you did not know from 2D Abandoned Sacred Beast. It's going to be a very enjoyable list to do, if you know what I mean. So be prepared for my next top five list to come, and I'll see you guys later, and sayonara.